Hi, I'm Jason Gorber for ThatShelf.com and we're here to talk about vinyl sleeves. Big change. So, uh, fans of this uh, channel, thanks so much for uh, coming back. I've known um, that I've done a couple of videos now on vinyl storage solutions. Um, uh, Mike, uh, gentleman out in uh, um, the hinterlands, the prairies of Canada, um, um, former uh, a veteran, a, a former uh, Canadian soldier, who has uh, created a really interesting um, and now kind of world-renowned um, business of, of of crafting sleeves, both inner and outer. Um, they've been quite exceptional. They sort of compete favorably with um, some of the more celebrated sleeves. Um, from places like Mobile Fidelity or any of the rice paper sleeves on the inside and his editor sleeves We've had a very long conversation um, about the technology and one of the things that he hinted at and actually uh, Showed at the time was sleeves for what I've sort of been desperate for which is sleeves for this kind of thing This kind of box out. So this happens to be a Mobile Fidelity uh, one step this happens to be uh, one of the UHQRs from um, Analog Productions, but as you can see you have these lovely boxes and um, I don't really want a lot of sleeve wear on them. They're, they're relatively expensive. Obviously, I'd like to keep them as pristine as possible, but I'd still like to get in and out of them um, without uh, too much drama uh, when I actually want to play the records. Now, a lot of people actually take out the records and put them into the shelf uh, separately and leave the boxes somewhere else. I'm not there yet. I kind of want to actually keep the records inside the box. We'll see how that all plays out. But what I did want to look at is his new, I guess it's semi patent pending, whatever it's going to be, but these are his box sleeves. So yeah, they look like regular sort of 12 inch outers, but there's a little bit of a fold here. And there's actually two different kinds. This one I haven't opened yet. This is kind of the, um, the kind of packaging that this stuff sort of uh, shows up in normally. And inside we have this, and it's basically the same just one has a flap and one doesn't. And the one with a flap, what's nice is that he actually manufactures, you know, a little bit of branding, but um, stickers so that with the flap, you can actually have it closed and use one of the stickers to sort of keep it closed, keep it tight. And this is one of those removable stickers. Um, I, I'm assuming it's the same kind of uh, similar adhesive to what he has with his actual packaging that you can sort of open and close many times. It still stays sticky, but it's no, so, not so obnoxiously sticky that it actually gets in the way. So I wanted to take a look at these to see how these actually work out. Um, it's gonna be a relatively tough to see this on camera, but we'll see how it plays out. The first thing I'm gonna do is do the one, one of the ones sort of without the flap. And the one that makes sense for that is the one whose package is actually uh, um, really nicely designed for you to be able to sl slide out. So this is all wood. Um, it's a wood dowel um, coated in some sort of, I don't know, um, pleather uh, outside, but it's this part and it's, it's sliding this out and out. This is a relatively delicate printing that I would actually like to keep. So we will see if this actually fits the way that this works. Now you can see it sort of ships flat, like exactly like this. Um, uh, and, and then when you actually put um, um, the, uh, the sleeve in, this will actually expand and sort of the size will sort of um, uh, balloon out, which is uh, quite lovely. Um, uh, the trick is to keep this on the back of the box. So what's nice about this is I should be able to do this relatively simply because really I'm just doing it for the actual box itself. So I know that that flap part is going to go on the back. So I'm going to start it. I know it's not quite the best camera angle, but we're going to do what we can here. And I'm going to see how, oh, sort of step it up this way and see how crazy this is to do and how complicated it is to do this because it's not always easy to get this stuff started you know story of my life um so as we go here we got part of it here there we go so like like anything you know um i'm sure that we can discuss the prophylactic uh implications of what's taking place here uh but nonetheless here we are um putting this over and sliding it quite well over this and there we are and there we have using his um, um, uh, archival plastic that will actually keep this. And exactly, these are absolutely perfect. Fits, fits snugly, but not so much. It sticks out a little bit at the end here, but that is absolutely perfect because what I'm going to do, of course, is take ye old inner and put it here. And there we have perfectly the box sealed and I can slide this in and out without any 
issues and this is now fully protected. You can see what happens here, the sort of um, on, on, on the side on here, this is where the uh, little bit of the seam takes place. And this is the fold seam, that's why it's on the back. So this is where actually folded uh, down. But in terms of its actual structure, it fits pretty darn perfectly. I'm extremely, extremely pleased with this. So I did the same thing. I'll just put this down for a sec. Let's look at one of the ones with a flap. Now this again, doesn't open that way. It's in a, sort of a top loading box. I listen to these enough that it's a big deal, but um, it'll be nice um, to avoid some of the uh, nooks and crannies that um, these have been getting at their hand number on the back. And so it'd be nice to have protection, but these ones probably make the most sense to actually have with, with the, the flap version. That way I will seal it with the flap and um, when I want to open it up, I'll actually open up with flaps. So again, I'll do the same thing. I'll have uh, I'll have this fold um, uh, on the on the back of the box, and this I'm going to have to do with the whole thing here, and thus the flap is towards the front. So let's just get this in here. See how this behaves. It opens up a little bit. Sorry, it's off camera. I'll show in a sec as it starts. It's actually sticking to the other one that's underneath, but we got it. And so as we open up, you can see that just allows me just to drop it in. And as I'm dropping it in, it expands the bottom and then is absolutely snug fit. Extremely easy to do. And then there's the box. I have this flap on top that I can then simply bring down. And on the back, use one of these stickers. I'll peel one off. It's a clear sticker and yep, I will put this on here. And there I've got vinyl storage solutions on the back, completely sealed. And there's my box, good to go, fully protected. And when I wanna get into it, it's as simple as simply lifting up this flap. This hypothetically will open without too much drama. Oh, it's a little bit stickier than I thought, but there we go and it leaves no residue on here or anything like that, but actually allows me to do this um, if I wish. Now, again, I haven't done this before. I'm doing this live on camera. I'm actually gonna take this sticker off. I'm gonna put it on the sticker sheet here just to save it for later. And I wanna see if this actually works. If I can simply tuck in the flap like this, this is probably, knowing me and how I work, it's probably more than sufficient for what I want. And rather than instead of having a sticker, I'm just going to tuck it in and that way I don't, it's certainly covering everything that I need to do. The top is about as sealed as going to be certainly better than it was before, but this allows me here. And then to, just to quickly, like I do with all of my other flaps, just pull it out and not actually have it sealed. So that's probably the way I'm going to go for it. Uh, but it's nice to have, you know, um, the stickers in case they want to do. He does charge for the stickers. Um, so I think given, given the fact that these are, these are not inexpensive um, outers, it's certainly probably the way I'm going to go. That being said, if you're getting a sleeve like this, it's for a box set that itself is probably hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. So we'll see how that plays out. Now, we knew that they were going to work in these, that we have the sort of slidey one here, which this is so perfect with it uh, being open for UHQRs. Again, some of those UHQRs are going for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars now so for the the few that i have you can see some of them behind me they're gonna go now um th those of you in this uh know full well that uhqr was originally mobile fidelity brand another company bought mobile fidelity as a licensing and analog productions bought the uhqr name but here is old school mobile fidelity so here's a box which again has been well loved Lots of shelfware. Um, this is from the early 80s um, uh, presentation. This is a crime of century copy for those that are paying attention. You can't really tell in the front. But I want to see, I'm going to take this one out because I only got one for demonstration. This is now out. So that's the old one step. And I'm going to put another mobile fidelity in this just to make sure that it actually fits the way that we would expect. And why wouldn't it? And you, and you can see as it drops in here, it's a little bit loose, but of course it is. But again, that flap that I can go really nicely here and absolutely does the trick and sort of keeps it. So you can see there's a little bit more give here because the box itself is smaller, of course. But nonetheless, I think when it's on the in the, in the shelf, it'll do a, a decent job of actually 
protecting it. Um, you can see as I'm moving it around here, this top flap pops up. So maybe for these that I really do go, I sort of have these as archival. I go in a little bit seldom. I might use a flap down, but if I try to tighten it here, it opens up a little bit on the, on the front here. And there's a little bit more of a gap there. Weirdly, I think it's actually better just tucked in. So we'll see whether or not, um, how that sort of actually behaves. So that's this kind of box. Again, slightly thinner than what we were before. And then I wanted to look at something like this. This is the Music From Big Pink box set. Um, this was the CD Blu-ray 2LP set. Again, something that I don't go to all the time, but it'd be nice with the textured um, uh, presentation to be actually able to store it. So I want to see something a little bit more heavy duty than this. So again, same thing. It's really nice about these, obviously completely reusable. I pop it in. Drop it down without too much drama. Can I do this without breaking anything, without ripping the plastic? Wouldn't that be nice? Again, it's very durable. It's making up for my problems. And as I slide it in here, absolutely perfect. So there we are. Again, I put the flap down and that absolutely fits as well as we would want, right? This kind of set does a thing that is perfect. It's a little bit bigger than the one step. I think it's a tiny, a few millimeters bigger, uh, but absolutely does the trick on this kind of set. I mean, we can keep doing this. Here's one that's right beside me. You can see that I've sort of kept it in plastic. Will this, will it fit? This is like the, uh, the uh, will it blend. As soon as it goes in, yeah, absolutely no problem putting a set like this in. Buy this set, it's fantastic. Now, we're not gonna get I don't think a little bit bigger. So you can see here's big pink on the side and here's a multi-album box set, something like this. Now going in this direction, again, I completely empathize with Mike that there's a gazillion different versions. These are sort of customized box sets. Some of them are relatively consistent, but, um, but uh, this is probably not going to sort of behave the way they want, but I just want to see, I want to see how complicated or problematic this is uh, to get in on a box set like this. And I got to say, much to my absolute joy, and I did not know this before, you saw me open it on camera. Look at that. So a larger set, something even bigger, much bigger in many ways than the one steps, will actually allow me to do that. So there we are, the Simon Garfunkel set, which has, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six records in it. It's a six record box set. And this, this flap version absolutely works perfectly. And what I can do, of course, is because I have the records uh, coming in this way, is I can do it with one of those side open ones. So I'm just gonna make a list. I'm gonna have some that sort of open this way that actually open off the side, some that are more box sets and sort of go from there. And you can see here I've been going in and out and in and out of the record, um, and it's it's fine. There's, there's no... Um, there's no permanent creases. There's nothing wrong. It's a little bit less sort of crystal clear uh, than um, uh, than his um, original outer sleeves, um, but um, I absolutely no complaint. I, I'm really, really pleased with the construction of these. The origami of it all is pretty fantastic. The fact that I can actually get away with box sets like this. Now I'm just going to try crazy stuff. I mean, we're here. We might as well try it. Here's here's a real challenging one. This one's a pain in my butt. Boom. So this is the Springsteen set. Um, the original Springsteen set. I keep the crazy cardboard boxes because I'm a lunatic. Let's see whether something like this. I can actually just do this, I think, with the top and see whether it actually fits. And this might be just a bit too big. And it is. So there we are. So we've sort of, it's not like we couldn't find the limit, but something like this sort of plays. But it doesn't, yeah, you can see what happens is, is it splays. And so there's no way that I could get a box set quite this thick, which means, of course, that he has to make another version. He's going to make one for this kind of box set. And actually, we'll see how it goes from there. But there we are. There's a look at the brand new product from Vinyl Storage Solutions. .ca. Thanks to Mike for um, sending along. Obviously, I'm going to be purchasing um, these uh, moving forward. Um, but I wanted to give a look. It's, it's been a long time. And, and, and just on a personal note, I sort of mentioned this a little bit in um, our original conversation. I had this idea. I'm like, this is ridiculous. Why are there no really good box set um, 
um, things like this, outers uh, to work. There's so many um, people buying records now and there's so many things that are super valuable. Wouldn't it be nice for there to be a proper outer um, to be um, sold by there? Why isn't Mobile Fidelity selling an outer that works with their Mobile Fidelity boxes? And then I found this guy online who had already done it years before I did. The joy of the internet, you find out the ideas that you have, the super clever ideas, have been taken by somebody much smarter than you many, many years or decades or millennia before you. Anyway, there we are for thatshelf.com. I will have more stuff for my shelf. Um, I'm Jason Gorber. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, please let us know in the comments if you actually um, give um, take a chance with these. Um, please subscribe, follow us on social media, and good luck with your collecting, and we'll see you next video. All the best. Take care.